Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Apple claims that the new iPhone 4S is significantly faster than its predecessor, the iPhone 4. Is that true? We're going to test the claim in this video. Let's go. So we're going to test both of these devices, and again, the iPhone 4S is on the right, the iPhone 4 is on the left, in four areas. One, startup time. Two, application load times. Number three, we're going to talk about the internet and web speed. And number four, we're going to get into gaming. And we're going to cover all of those things now. So let's get to it. Both of these devices are running iOS 5, the latest versions. So let's do the startup test. Both of these devices are turned off. And by the way, we've cleared cache in the, in the browser. And we've also turned off all third-party apps from the multitask UI. So here we are right off the gate. The iPhone 4S is a little bit faster with bringing up that iPhone logo, the Apple logo there. So let's see which gets to the slide to unlock screen first. And it looks like the 4S, 4S got there first and the 4 shouldn't be too far behind, maybe by a couple of seconds. There it is about four or five seconds slower uh, than the iPhone 4S. So let's slide to unlock here. OK, here we are, and let's double check that there are no applications running. We already have settings running. Let's just kill that and make sure that it's fair here. So we've got no applications running right now. Both of them are on the same Wi-Fi network, although we're going to do network test speeds both over Wi-Fi and over 3G uh, because we've got full bars here. So we really should be able to see the maximum speed. So let's open up some applications. Let's start with settings. Ready, set, go. OK, so the 4S was definitely faster there. Let's open the calendar next. Go. OK, the 4S was faster there. Let's open the camera. Very important. You want to take that quick shot. Of course, camera is not loaded into the memory right now. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit longer, but we'll still be able to see which one does it faster. Ready? One, two, three, go. OK, the iPhone 4S was faster there. OK, let's open the Notes app up here. We'll see which one goes faster. Looks like it was the iPhone 4S in that situation. So across the board, iPhone 4S is opening up applications more quickly, which is good to see. We want the 4S to be faster than the iPhone 4. OK, now let's test internet speed. And we're going to start off by showing the same website. We're going to do pinch to zoom and test the performance. Then we're going to do network speed tests by turning off Wi-Fi. So let's jump into the browser, and we'll see which one opens up first. iPhone 4S was faster. So let's load Pocket now at the same time here. Again, over the same Wi-Fi network. About the same, the 4 was actually a little bit faster in that situation. Another interesting note is how the iPhone 4S screen is warmer. It's a little bit more yellowish. Uh, the original iPhone 4 had a very, very cool screen. This was one of the first iPhone 4s. Uh, it shipped one of the first days that they started to send them out. And with it, you got that really cool screen, which some people like, but Apple went to a warmer screen for subsequent versions. Let's click on the desktop version, pocket now, see which one gets there first. OK, the 4 actually got there first. Let's scroll down the page. We get a little bit of a, a, a blank spot there on the 4. Let's pinch to zoom. OK, very smooth on both of them. Let's click on this link, see which one gets there first. Oh, got a, got a little stutter there on the 4. And here it comes on the 4S a little bit faster. Actually, the 4 finished first. Amazingly, the 4 is actually beating the 4S. Let's go to another website. Let's go to Engadget here. OK, the 4S killed the iPhone 4 there. Let's go to the bottom and go to the desktop version. Hit the wrong button there. We'll go to the desktop version. We'll catch up in a minute. And while they're loading, we're going to flick down the page. It's blank on the 4. Still blank on the 4. The 4S1, of course, but it wasn't a perfect test because we didn't start at the same time. Let's go back to the top here and pinch to zoom. Both very smooth here. And we're going to click on a link at the same time. 4S finish first there. Let's flick down the page. We'll wait for the 4 to finish before we flick down the page. Flick down the page quickly. Pretty smooth. So no real clear winner here. The 4S seems faster in a lot of the situations, but sometimes the 4 is even faster. Might have to do with network conditions. Let's run speedtest.net here to determine a sort of 
sometimes with a faster processor, you get faster data speeds uh, just by having a faster processor. So we're going to do these one at a time so that they don't clog up the network. We're over Wi-Fi right now. Then we'll turn off Wi-Fi and go to 3G. Let's start with the 4S. So let's see what kind of data speeds we can expect over Wi-Fi. This is a pretty fast Wi-Fi network that it's connected to, very, very fast. Uh, so about 19 down and, wow, 22 up. Let's do the 4. The router is about three feet behind me, so it's, it's getting a very strong signal. Okay, it looks like about 17 down and 18 up. So faster on the 4S in terms of data speeds. If we ran these tests three times, I know for a fact that the 4S would be faster. Now let's see what it can do in terms of cellular data speed over AT&T 3G. Apple touts that the AT&T version can get a theoretical 14.4 megabits per second down over HSPA+. Of course, that's in theory. That's not going to happen in the real world. So let's jump into settings real quick and turn off that Wi-Fi. Okay, and Wi-Fi is turned off. Let's jump back into the speedtest.net application. And we can run them at the same time. It doesn't really matter here. So let's go. Begin test. Let's see what we can do in terms of data. We have full bars here. Okay, it looks like the iPhone 4 is actually doing a lot better than the iPhone 4S, interestingly. Wow, clocking 5.8 down on the iPhone 4 and only 3.16 on the 4S. And the upload speed will be higher on the iPhone 4S at about 1.6 megabits per second and 0.94 on the 4S. Real quick, we're going to restart the results, restart the test, and we'll come back. We won't make you sit through this whole thing. And we're back with the test results, round two, and again, the same results. Almost six megabits per second down on the 4, and half that on the 4S. Very interesting indeed. If we take a look at some of the results that uh, we've gotten with the 3G connection, I've gotten up to 6.6 .6 megabits per second. One of our editors from Pocket Now, Dan Webster, has gotten 10 megabits per second down in Washington on the 4S. Most people will be happy if they see Something like this on the 4, uh, 6 megabits per second is quite fast. Okay, so let's test out gaming now. We've got a really high FPS game here, Asphalt 6. Let's see which one opens up faster. We're a little bit ahead on the iPhone 4S because we had that pop-up notification. Let's skip past this. Now we're now we're even, so we'll be able to determine speed from here. iPhone 4S is ahead. Touch to continue. Touch to continue. Looks like it missed the press there on the 4. Okay, here we are. Let's go to a free race, if we can get it at the same time. As you can see, a little stutter there in the four. So let's do a normal race. We're going to zoom out so we can actually play with two phones at one time. All right, we're kind of zoomed out here. We're going to click normal race. We're going to try to get it on the screen at the same time. And we're going to click race. And we're going to pick up two phones at once and play two iPhone games at the same time. Not even sure this is possible. But this way, you can tell the difference between the graphics on both. So here we go, a little fly scene in the beginning there. Pretty darn smooth on the iPhone 4S. Let's see how it looks on the 4. Take a lot longer. It still looks very smooth on the 4. Uh, just loading times are a lot slower. A little stutter there you saw on the 4. OK, let's skip past all of this stuff. All right, so this will still work. It'll not work perfectly, but you'll be able to get the point. If you see me crashing a lot, that's because these are not synchronized. Definitely a difference. Uh, in terms of the frame rate. If you look at the bottom screen, it's just not nearly as smooth. It's just butter up top. Apple claims a seven times increase in gaming performance in terms of the graphical prowess of the Apple A5 chip. Now I'm going to focus on the bottom, but definitely a difference. Can you see how choppy it is on the bottom? Uh, not choppy, but you can definitely tell there's not as many frames per second as in the top. So definitely in terms of gaming performance, the iPhone 4S takes the cake. So I think the surprising thing here is that while the iPhone 4S is faster in a lot of areas, 
like starting up and loading applications, it's not faster in every aspect. Like on the internet, it's not always faster, but sometimes. And in terms of data speeds in our tests, over Wi-Fi it was faster, but over 3G it was not faster. So if you want the fastest iPhone, there's no doubt that the 4S is the one to get. It, it In terms of just loading applications faster, that's a big enough advantage for most people to warrant the upgrade. Uh, but it's not a huge blowout here. It's not a it doesn't feel like a two times performance increase in terms of CPU power and a seven times increase in terms of gaming. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these two phones. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and the review is about to go up on pocketnow.com. Check out the description, you'll see the link to it and you can read everything about the iPhone 4S. Thanks for watching.